Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Landon with LMR.com. We got a simple one for you today. This is the 5.0 Resto Power Steering Hose Bracket. This little guy here gets positioned underneath the battery tray on the driver's side frame rail, and its job is to uh, properly route and secure uh, the hose from the power steering pump uh, to the steering rack. Um, this one here, it's pre-bent. Uh, we've mimicked uh, the, uh, the factory piece, so you could consider it's a, a reproduction of the original. Uh, it's still construction. Uh, we got bright or silver zinc plating with the rubber dip sleeve, uh, just like the originals. So it comes with two fasteners. Uh, you'll get a fully threaded pointed thread cutting style fastener. Uh, this is a 10 millimeter wrench in size. This secures the bracket to the frame rail. And then you'll have a smaller blunt nose thread forming type fastener. Uh, this is 13 millimeter wrench in size and this secures the two halves of the bracket. Two ways you can go about installing this thing. If you already have your car supported via a lift or jack stands, you know, you're addressing the uh, other power steering related uh, components. You know, you can do this from underneath the vehicle or if you're like us, uh, you know, we're just gonna quickly install it today. Uh, you don't have it supported uh, in the air via a lift or jack stand. You can remove the battery, which we've already done, and then you can remove the battery tray. I'll pull those out real quick, and then we'll show you where that uh, factory power steering hose bracket is. You have to kind of resituate your battery cables a little bit. Oof, that nasty. But uh, those are that, those where your uh, power steering hold down bracket is. Now, the reason why we're doing it on this car um, in particular, by the way, I guess I should have stated this. Um, the, this particular hold down bracket fits 1986 to 1993 Mustangs. Uh, the reason why we're doing it on our 86 Capri is uh, for those of you that are subscribed to the channel, uh, you watch our videos. You may remember this car. This is the one where we did all the power steering stuff uh, to pump, uh, pulley, bracket, power steering rack, all brand new hoses, the whole nine yards. So really the only missing link uh, was this bracket right here from us uh, being able to put all new components, you know, kind of related to the power steering system. So that's what we're gonna do today and that's why we chose this car. That is a, uh, that is a 10 millimeter bolt there. Now what you may wanna do, um, actually, you know what? You wanna leave that on the frame rail first because you want leverage to be able to open the bracket. Okay, so you'll back that bolt out and then you'll just open the bracket up. That way you can, you can get it around the hose. It's firm, but you can get it, just push it open. And now we'll loosen up the uh, bolt on the You can open it up a little more to get it off the hose. There's your old bracket. This car, like many others we have, it's on the list uh, to get fixed. Uh, we've got some good plans for it. Uh, it's just like anything, y'all can all relate to it, you know. Just takes time. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of cars to fix and a lot of stuff to show you guys. So, one day you'll see this one run across. Okay, so on our new bracket, you're basically gonna reverse the removal steps. On your new bracket, you'll get your fingers underneath here, and you'll open it up, just like that. All right, so to install it, uh, you'll know right away if you have it positioned correctly. Um, and of course, you have your locating tab here that's gonna go into one of the provisions on the frame rail. I'm gonna loop it around the hose first, then we'll get it against the frame rail. We'll install the 10 millimeter wrench and size fastener. Uh, this is the uh, fully threaded fastener. There we go. Right. 
we'll run that down completely. Don't over tighten this. Torque spec is uh, hand tight. Okay. Now once that's tight, uh, we'll close. Make sure our hose is situated correctly. Uh, we'll close, squeeze together uh, the strap on the bracket. Okay, now as we squeeze the bracket together, we'll use the other fastener, get it started. We can run that down and just snug it. And then we can go ahead and uh, tighten this. Till it stops, you don't want to crank on this. Uh, after that, just give a quick visual inspection of the area. Uh, you know, make sure you, you know, pretty simple, but just make sure you know it's not uh, pinching the hose or anything like that. Just anything weird. Um, also, to note on this car, uh, this '86 Capri, it is an AOD car, uh, so just make sure you're clearing the uh, transmission cooler lines, which uh, we've got a good, you know, kind of a fingers width there. Uh, in terms of a gap. After that, you can reinstall your battery uh, tray, reinstall your battery, hook everything back up, and then uh, you're good to go. So uh, like I said, folks, uh, pretty simple one for you today. If you value our commitment to the cars, uh, even with the simple parts, uh, y'all know me. If you've uh, been around our channel, uh, y'all watched our videos for as, as long as you have, y'all know I really value, I, I value it all, uh, but it's these little small little doodads uh, I really like a lot because if you start adding up all the small little little things and doodads throughout the car, uh, there's a lot of them there, and that's why I like them so much. So uh, we're going to sign off for the day. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and then until uh, we catch you in the next one, you all know what to do for all things Fox Body Mustang, keep it right here at the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.